So this is unit six, major flat key signatures. We're gonna do the same thing for this unit that we did for the last unit, unit five, which was major sharp key signatures. Um, except for this one, it's just flats. So I already started writing out the flat key signatures, making sure that we're following our key up here. And we wanna start with B flat, then we have E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, F flat. And I kind of drew it a lot more spaced out here than we would actually write it. It's a little bit more condensed in an actual key signature, but that way you can see what is actually coming first from left to right. Um, as far as the bass clef goes, same order, just making sure that we're writing our notes on the correct space or line. So B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, F flat. Um, so you do that two more times. And the next page, um, just like how we had a nice little um, kind of cheat of helping us identify major sharp key signatures, we have one for helping us identify major flat key signatures. It's not the same for sharp, so it's different. So if you are at the point where you're not confident with everything that's memorized um, and you just need something to kind of help you identify the key signature fast, then this might work for you. And I think that this is a lot easier than it is for the sharps. So you're going to look at the second to last flat in the key signature. So if I was in B flat major, the last flat is E flat. So I'm gonna go back one and now I'm at B flat. It works for treble clef or bass clef. So if I'm identifying that key signature, I would say that this is the key of B flat major. Here, I'm going to look at the second to last flat, which is A flat. So I'm in A flat major. Second to last flat is G flat. I'm in G flat major. Here I am second to last flat is E flat, so I'm in E flat major. You don't have that for F major, um, so just kind of memorize that this is F major. Um, so first one is B flat major. Our second to last flat is E flat. So this is E flat major. Second to last flat is A flat. This is A flat major. One flat is F major. Second to last flat is D flat. This is D flat major. Second to last flat is G flat. This is G flat major. Second to last flat is E flat. This is E flat major. Second to last flat is C flat. This is C flat major. Second to last flat is B flat. This is B flat major. A flat major. G flat major. And last but not least, F major. Now I'm just writing a capital M after the keys just to kind of clarify that this is a major key and not a minor key. Uh, but we haven't talked really much about minor keys yet, so. I'm just kind of really telling the page, this is major. Okay, so now it wants us to write out our key signatures. And this is just kind of a really good way if you need to flip back and look here at our chart or here to, to help kind of reinforce, that's fine. But I'm just going to kind of quickly write out your keys for you, B flat, E flat, A flat, so three flats and E flat major, one flat and F major, sorry, my dog hit the stand, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, oops, what am I doing? B flat and E flat, um, and like I said, I'm spacing them out so you can see how they look from left to right, but in actuality, they will look a lot more condensed and pushed together. So B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. G flat major. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. D flat, E flat, 
A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. E flat major has three flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. Oops, ah, this is why you write in pencil. I wrote it as it's in treble clef, but it's not as in bass clef. Okay, C flat major, this is all the flats. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, F flat. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, F flat, B flat major, B flat, E flat. Wow, that was a lot of space there. That was a little too much space. Didn't need that much space. <laughs> B flat and D flat major. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. Oh yes, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. And now it says to add in the correct flats in your scale. Use this as a reference. You just wrote it out for yourself. There is no harm in referencing. Um, the more you do, the more memorized it'll be. So F major, there is one flat and that's B flat. And my key signature is B flat major. Next is a bass clef. B flat major has B flat and E flat. Boop, 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 boop. Make sure that you have your right clefs in there. E flat, B flat, and A flat. B flat, E flat, A flat, bass clef. B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. Ooh, I forgot to rewrite my top of flat. B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. So D flat, E flat, F. So we have B flat, E flat. Oh, what am I doing? Ashley, you're writing it as if it's in bass clef. No, I'm reading it as if it's in bass clef. Wow, I just had a moment there. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. Okay, everything is flat except for F flat. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. And last but not least, Everything is flat. You get a flat. You get a flat. You get a flat. You get a flat. Everybody gets a flat. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, F flat. So one flat, two flat, three flat, four flat, five flat, six flat, seven flat. Whew. You do it like so much all in abundance, like right next to each other. And like, it's kind of like you get tongue tied with flats in your head, you know? Oh wait, there's one more page. Okay, I didn't know this, I didn't look. So it says name the major key signature for each example. Circle the complete major scale found in each example. So I can tell you right off the bat, this is G major because I'm seeing a G major one chord right here. I'm seeing a five, seven chord. I'm seeing a four chord. I'm seeing another one chord. You don't have to re um, specify what this chord is if it's being carried through with no other chord in between. And I'm going back to a one chord and this is my G major scale. So I'm in the key of G major. And let's see, this is the key of E flat major. And here is my whole scale. Here is my one chord. It's just broken. Here's my five, seven chord. Just broke it. My four chord, just broken. Five, seven chord, just broken. And my one chord. Oh, I'm sorry. This is blocked and blocked. <laughs> just broken, just broken, just broken. And I always like to kind of like specify at the bottom underneath. This is 
D major here. So we have a D major one chord, and then we have a D major four chord, and then a five seven chord, five seven chord again, and then going back to a one chord. Huh, someone's car alarm just went off. Wasn't mine. F major, one chord, four chord, five seven chord, one chord, that looks really sloppy, I'm sorry. One chord, five seven chord, one chord, and a one chord. Oh, I didn't tell you where the scale was here. Slacking. Slacking. Okay, F to F. Boop. Bada bing, bada boom.